Okay, very good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to the new year. It's the first Saturday session for 2021. And this year, we're going to start uh, with a new timing. Uh, I would say a new style. So this, this whole month, Okay, help me mute some of the... Sorry. It's me, it's me. Sorry. And, and somebody waiting to admit. Okay, sorry for the disruption. I'm not the co-host, you know. Huh? Wait. Because I'm not... Okay, just done, done, done. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so like I mentioned, this this year, this month will be uh, every Saturday is dedicated to Facebook using Facebook to work for your new skin business, and as the workshop suggests, it's a digital how to be a digital superstar, and it is a workshop. It is not a lecture, so you know what a workshop. What's the difference, right? A workshop is interactive. So please switch on your cameras because I want to see your faces. I want to see how you guys look like, how you guys respond, how you guys uh, feel with these uh, things that I'm talking about. And the more interaction you give, the more interaction you have, the more you will actually benefit from this session. Okay, and remember there's homework after this. And of course, those who participate in the homework will also benefit even more from this. Okay, so this week's okay. So you're gonna see me see my face every Saturday for the next four this week until the next three weeks. Okay, and the first week I'm gonna talk about content is king. Okay, but before we begin, right? I want to share why why do we want to use Facebook? Okay, what is the objective? So you must be very clear what's the objective of using Facebook for new skin because if you're not clear, what happens is you will end up with um, uh, losing track of time and then suddenly you're scrolling cat videos. Suddenly you're watching makeup videos. Suddenly you're looking at people, your friend posting food. After one hour, you realize, what was I supposed to do? I forgot. Because you lose the objective. It's very easy to get lost in social media and Facebook. So when you enter with this mindset of using Facebook for new skin, you have to have a clear objective. And the clear objective is first, you must, you want to grow your name list because this business is a people business. So no people, no business. And if you feel or you, uh, if you feel you don't have enough people or you, you don't have new leads, that's why we want to use Facebook to grow our name list. You also want to get more customers, right? Because from customers, we get builders. So you must be very clear on what you are looking to achieve in this business, right? So remember, grow name list, get customers, and get builders. Okay. I want to share the five C's. Five C's of how to be a digital superstar. Okay, the sharing today that I'm, I'm sharing with you is actually a combination of training that was done by Fraser Brooks during the GoPro training. And Fraser Brooks is also one of the, I would say at this moment, he is the top trainer for net, uh, using Facebook for network marketing. Okay, so it involves training uh, from him and also training from social media, uh, training during the, uh, what do you call that, OTG group in Indonesia which was done in Bahasa Indonesia. So I'm combining both training uh, to give you the best that really applies to us here in Singapore, in the region, and also using Facebook. Okay, so please feel free to ask anything. Feel free to even comment or whatever because this is a workshop. We want to interact so that everybody will benefit. Everybody knows how to use Facebook effectively after this. For so to be a digital superstar, you want to have five C's and I will explore all these different C in the following weeks because remember today the focus is on content. Okay, so now 
Uh, the first C is content. The second C is comment. The third C is connect. The fourth C is communicate. And the fifth C is close. So at the end of the day, we, our objective is to close, right? So we all very clear we want to close and eventually we want to get there. But we cannot jump the gun. We cannot skip the steps. We must start with the first C. That's why the first week is content. Okay. So before I go on in about content, you all also must have a little bit of understanding about personal branding. That will definitely help you with how you can come up with your content. Because if you don't know what, what kind of branding you want to have, or if you're not too sure, then you your content uh, may not be too clear. Or you also don't know what to write. Okay? So personal branding, uh, I'm going to talk about why we need personal branding and six steps to personal branding. Okay, why we need personal branding is because when you talk to strangers, especially when you approach strangers about products, naturally, they will be skeptical. So the word skeptic is Indonesian, but uh, you want to change them from skeptical and for, for, for them to be skeptical to become, uh, to see you as a figure of authority. Secondly, they want you, they, you want them to know, not just know you as a person, but to also improve your trust, improve their trust in you. So become the authority and increase trust, people's trust in you. And I'm referring to strangers, strangers especially, but also increasing this even among your uh, actual uh, friends and acquaintances. So we want to build trust and improve our position of authority in whatever brand that you are portraying. So step one, you remember got six steps, six steps to personal branding. Step one, you must understand what's your strength. All of us are different. So for me, my strength is I'm a medical doctor. So I just use it. This is my strength and this is who I am and this is what works for me. So for you, maybe you are uh, a teacher, so you can teach. Maybe you are a mother, so you can share what what mothers do or what you do. What maybe some mothers tips or hacks. Maybe you are you are what do you call it a skater or you like like to ride bicycles bikes. Maybe that's your strength. Uh, it can be anything. Literally, I can think of a lot of things. Maybe you like to cook. So some of you like to cook. So your strength is uh, I prepare healthy food, for example, or I only prepare rice dishes, for example. So it can be anything, okay? You can list down your five top three to five strength that you can focus on, and that can uh, contribute to your branding. So don't don't have to be so so specific until one strength only. We can also combine a few a few strength. So for example, for me, I'm a medical doctor. I love coffee. I love to eat. I love to travel, and I love to meet people. So I combine all of this into my branding. Okay, so that's my strength. Step two, what is your purpose? What is the purpose of you building this personal brand? Because some people, they get lost, they end up chasing likes. They end up chasing followers. They end up chasing, um, that means they want to be viral or they want to be popular. But remember, right? our purpose here is not to be popular. We're not here to be influencer. You don't have to have 10,000 followers. Our purpose here is to be a, a figure of authority in your personal brand and to convert them to customers and builders. Another way you can look at it, like for some of us, our mission, our purpose is to help people transform lives through an uh, amazing uh, business opportunity platform with amazing health transformation products. Okay, that's my purpose. Okay. So, you must be clear on what your purpose is and it will show on your personal branding. Step three, who's your audience? So, all of us here all come from different uh, backgrounds. Some are men, women, some are uh, young, some are old, some are professional, some are married kids, some are single. So, we all have different backgrounds. 
So we all attract slightly different audience. Some may overlap, but we all have our own audience. Trust me, you, we do not we we do we are not here on Facebook to attract everybody. That's the first thing that you need to forget. We are not here to attract everybody. We are just here to attract our own audience. Okay, so all of you, all of us have our own audience. If you do not know, you start to see who is um, right, uh, reading your comments, oh, sorry, who is reading your post, who is commenting, who is responding. That's your audience as a start. For me, I know my, my audience is around 35 to 45 and it's uh, both men and women. And yeah, that's my, that's my roughly my audience. Okay, and mostly professionals. Okay, so so I know who's my audience because then you know how to do your personal branding for your audience. Okay, so anyway, if you all have any question, feel free to ask on the microphone or chat, huh? no problem. Huh? So know your audience, step three. Step four, now that you know your audience, if let's say your audience are mothers, your audience are ladies, women, your audience are men in their 40s, then you start to think, how can you add value? How can you add value to your audience? If your audience are men above 40s, you can't be talking about changing diapers. You can't be talking about uh, going grocery shopping. And you can, but then how can it relate to this audience? If you are audience are mothers, you don't want to talk about cars, not really. You don't want to talk about um, uh, I don't know, the things that mothers are not interested in. So what? how can you add value to your audience? What would they be interested in? Okay, so remember your steps one to three before this, and then think about how you can add value along the lines of your strength, your, your purpose, and your audience. Add value. So it must always be something that, that will be useful for them. But do not feel stuck. Do not feel stuck because I don't know what to add value. I don't know what to say. Because if you keep thinking and that's stopping you from posting or doing something, that will be even worse. So if you're not sure how to add value, just start by sharing something that you find useful, that you find is valuable to yourself. And eventually you will find the audience, you will find the right people who also find the same things valuable. Okay, simple. So sometimes the easiest way is to just think about what would you like? What would you appreciate? Step number five, be professional. So you must you must uh, use your uh, Facebook account because we talk about Facebook only, right? Your Facebook account as uh, and appear as a professional. So you don't want to uh, write anything uh, moody or emotional or make it like a place for you to be just anyhow post. Because this is your branding, this is like your shop, you know, this is your, your image. So you, you be yourself, but you don't have to tell everything that is not relevant or not professional. Like, oh, I'm feeling so tired today. Or, ah, I just had a rejection. Or, ah, I don't like this person, he, she talked too much. <laughs> so that's not very professional. Okay, there's no point doing those things. It will affect your personal branding. Okay, so remember be a professional because we are here to be a new skin professional. So how do you want to portray yourself as a professional? Uh, that's how you should be. Okay. And step six, which is what we're going through today, content, content strategy. Okay. Oops. So content strategy you look at it in terms of this diagram. What is your niche and what value you can give? Okay, these two bubbles, okay? Your niche and your value. So your niche, just now I mentioned, right? Your audience, your target audience, what's their age? What is trending for them? What they're interested in? What the world needs? What is suitable for your market? That's your niche. What's the value? So value will be things like your passion. What are you passionate about? What can allow them to be passionate, to feel passionate? What kind of impact you want to give? What's your strength? What's your brand? Okay. 
uh, the color that one no need sorry please ignore the colors but generally what value and if you can combine the value and your niche together uh, of course that will be the best okay but like i said you may not know how the two intersect until you start posting both and sometimes you can just start posting either one eventually you'll find the intersecting value where you can find value and niche okay i hope i'm not too cheap huh? this one is still just uh, introduction huh? okay so now we go into the content creation itself Wow, very fast. Huh? <laughs> so I want to be short and quick. Okay. So far, you guys okay? Are you guys following? All doing okay? Not sleeping? Yeah. Yes. Thank yes. you. Thanks for responding. Who's the yes? <laughs> okay. Okay. When it comes to content, okay, there are common mistakes. Yes. And I think all of all of us are guilty of this one way or another all right so okay so what are the common mistakes okay you see these five things are huh? a must avoid please avoid these five mistakes number one not consistent not consistent means uh this week uh, today or today i'm uh, after the training i'm so excited i post something after that, tomorrow busy. The next day, tired. After that, forget. After that, uh, don't know what's Facebook. After that, go IG. After that, go TikTok. Not consistent. Okay? That's a very common mistake. And in Facebook, to be consistent, minimum is post daily. Minimum. You can post two to three times a day even. Okay? There's no maximum. You just keep on posting until people get sick of you. And even then, continue to post. They can never get sick of you because they will either love you more or just not follow you and let the new people to follow you. So it doesn't matter. Be consistent and just keep posting. Number two, too much selling. So don't be too... Um, spend too much time to try to sell products because if you... Are looking at your friend's Facebook and your friend's Facebook is always talking about try this uh, this is good this one got promotion this one's for the knee this one's for the face this one's for the eyes that means all the Facebook is all about it's all about selling would you follow their friend no right no you won't be interested because there's nothing interesting there except her products she's just trying to sell products so do not need to do too much selling okay Focus on just sharing. Later, I'll show you what content to share. Number three, you post the best post ever. You get 100 comments and you never reply to any comment. No interaction. Okay? Also a common mistake. Because no interaction is as if, uh, for example, uh, Sadia post today, wow, my food today very nice. And then somebody comment, wow, your food so nice. And then you don't reply. So it's like somebody say, Sadia, Sadia. Then you like, you ignore. Sadia, Sadia. You ignore. It's like you're ignoring the person. After a while, the person will stop commenting. And don't want to look at you already. Angry. Ah, yeah, I comment, so no point lah. Don't need to comment. So don't want to, don't want to reply. Right? So you must interaction, interact. Uh, you can comment, you can reply to the comment. You can even message. There, you must have, uh, it's like give and take. You want people to comment, you must also reply. Right? Okay? Number four. No new friends. Another common mistakes. You you will you you prepare all the best posts, and then your posts are all wow. The video very solid one, very well done, and then you see how come nobody comment? How come very few likes? Then I see the friends two hundred friends. Okay, those who don't understand maybe don't know why, because the algorithm maybe only one to one to ten percent will see your post. If if you only have 200 friends, maximum only 20 people will post. But even then, it is not likely to be 20 people. It's usually less than 10%. If 20 people see your post, how many likes you expect? Not everybody will like, right? So if you don't have new friends, it's like talking to yourself. 
because you have no new friends, no audience. It's like you post, uh, you go on, the, you put an advertisement on the TV channel, but the TV channel only 20 people watching. Which one would you want to post? On the channel, TV channel that has millions watching or a TV channel with only 20 people watching? Okay, your channel is your Facebook feed. So if you do not add friends, then you are just you end up talking to the wall or talking to the same five people only. Then that's why there will be no changes to your business. Okay, and number five, the most common mistake is monotonous content or you end up talking about the same thing over and over again. Too common, uh, too boring, too boring. You can talk about same thing but different, different uh, approach, you know, don't be boring. Just try to be interesting and different. Okay, you guys got it? So let's let's try our best not to commit all these common sins. common scenes, uh, Facebook scenes. Okay, so before we go into the content, right, let's talk about the four steps where you can actually start your journey to be a digital superstar. First, you must set goal. Second, set up the profile. Third, add friends. Four, you go into content. Okay, in Facebook, you must have the right mindset. You see these two, the difference is one guy is sprinting, one guy is running a marathon. When you do Facebook, it is not a sprint. What's a sprint? A sprint is 100 meter, run, finish, stop. That's the end of the race. A marathon is something that lasts a long time. Okay. In fact, I would say in our new scheme business, our Facebook is an infinite game. It's infinite. You don't want to stop, right? Unless you totally don't want to do business anymore. But if you want to constantly grow the business, it is a marathon. So you can't just be talking about uh, amazing posts for three to six months. After that, okay, nobody nobody comment already, so forget it. Cannot. You must be in it for the long haul. Okay, you must have the long term insight, long term mindset. Right? Okay. So that's why I know some of you are scared to post or don't know what to post. Okay. But if you keep thinking and thinking and being scared to post, then you will never even start. Okay. So you have to just start and don't worry about not having content. In fact, <clears throat> everyone has. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I need water. water. <coughs> Hey, sorry, sorry. I'm back. <clears throat> I don't know who's talking about me. Eh? Sorry. Okay. So, be in in the long run. Marathon. So, you must set the right goals. What is your goal to do Facebook? You want to increase friends. What's the target for Facebook? Very simple. 5,000. But don't forget, 5,000 doesn't mean, okay, I reached 5,000 already, finish. Finish, that's the end of it. I got 5,000 already. No, you also need to constantly change once you hit 5,000, which I know most of you have not reached. Once you reach 5,000, you actually have to start deleting friends. Friends that are not responding, commenting, not interacting. You need to delete friends who are not in line with what you're looking for. So you only need 5,000. So, and once you hit 5,000, in fact, you might even have to delete sidelines. Sidelines that are totally to your business because you have no space ready let them follow you they can follow you there's an option in facebook to follow that means they can see your post but they are not your friends okay so eventually don't be don't be if your sideline unfriend you because we just need to grow our our facebook friends list to include strangers anyway we can still follow one another and support right number two we need to grow our database Friends and database are totally different because friends is on Facebook, 5,000 friends, which is your pool of uh, contacts. 
but database are the ones that you convert from this Facebook world into database that you can start to follow up. Because you can follow everybody on Facebook because not everybody is responding. But you want to grow a database, you must have that active name list. Because Facebook friend list is not the same as your active name list. So that's your database. You want to grow this name list so that you can continue to follow up, convert to customer, builder, and so on and so forth. Number three, you want to convert to builder, reseller, customer. And number four, you want to grow GSV. So be very clear that you want to do business, you want to do new Facebook for these four main things. Okay, so we're not there to for entertainment. Maybe once in a while can lah, but we're not there to entertainment. We're not just there to make friends for nothing. We're not just there to scroll our favorite videos. Okay, so these are the four main things. <clears throat> so then you cannot say you have no time for Facebook marketing. Yeah, GSV is group sales volume. Okay, sales volume. So you must translate to sales lah. Okay, so no need to say you have no time because if you do this properly, you actually only need maximum one hour a day. Okay, main goal is to grow your name list. Okay, number two, if you want to talk about profile. Okay, profile. <clears throat> Make sure it's not a selling profile. So when you see your profile, you're not like, hi, I'm a distributor of new skin. Hi, I'm, uh, I sell skin slimming products. Hi, I sell skincare. Not a selling profile. That means you don't want to come out as a salesperson, a consultant, an expert, an authority, entrepreneur. Yeah, that's that is good, but you don't have to be just posting product profile that is, uh, uh, I mean, setting up a profile that is just focused on selling. It must be appealing to your target market. Okay. So if your audience is uh, ladies in their 40s to 50s, and then your, your banner page is something very cute from a cartoon, you think it's appealing to your customer market? No, right? Not really. Yeah. Maybe you only end up targeting the same old aunties who like cartoons. I don't know. Just saying, okay, must appeal to your target market. And your profile must have content, okay? Must have, uh, because the profile is the first thing they see. So the moment they open, you must be able to see content, okay? Good quality content. So this is a very good example. So Dr. Yulia Sari is from Indonesia. She is COE1 or $1 million circle member from New Skin Indonesia. So it's very clear. The banner shows her speaking to a group. Her profile picture is also very clear. That's her. And a very professional uh, appearance, right? A very professional image. <laughs> and then, so some of you may say, but I never spoken to thousands of people. Or I haven't even spoke on stage before. Especially now with COVID, how to speak on stage. So your banner can be what you represent. So my banner, I didn't really put me speaking on stage. I actually put me uh, in doing one of my travels because I love traveling and I put a quote. You can also uh, put something that's related to your branding, your strength. So if you are a mom, then you, maybe you can put uh, you with your, your kids or maybe you have a, a combination of you talking to your customers, doing facial spa or something. That means relating to who you are or what branding you want to put. And then below her name, <coughs> you can actually put uh, some description of your profile. Okay, so she says she's a business mentor, online global business owner, speaker, entrepreneur, happy mom, travel and sport. Right? It doesn't have to be the same. It doesn't have to be the same number. But just put down the important things that you would describe yourself or you would want people to know when they first see you want to know that. And on the left side, the introduction, you also must include what are your background. Because people want to know who is this Yulia Sari, right? Who is she to say she's a global business owner, la, speaker, la, all these things. Then, of course, whether you can choose self-employed or working, you can even put your where you study, used to study, what you study in. So this is so important. And the more things you have here, the more credibility. Because a lot of these fake 
scammers, fake profiles, they have very little information on the intro. And usually they will put some weird country and they will put Harvard, just one line from Harvard, you know, that kind of thing, just three things. So if you have two little things also, then people will be a bit you know, skeptical. Okay, so got it. So so uh, make sure you brush up your profile, make it even better after this. Anyway, it's a new year. If you take time to change the new profile. Okay, so don't forget your profile picture must be clear. The profile picture must be just you. Not you and your cats, not you and your dogs, not your babies, not your car. It's just you. That's the proper picture. Your banner, which is the one, the longer one, that's where you can put your interest. All right? Okay? So far, okay. Huh? Okay. Then how to add friends? Because some of you tell me they're very scared. I'm very scared to add friends, you know. I got some weirdo want to add me. Some, this is from uh, ladies lah. You see, some guy want to add me. Then look a bit suspicious, uh, don't know whether this one real or not, you know, that kind of thing. So they're very scared to add. Okay. But you have to add friends, but I'll teach you how. Okay. How to get 5,000 friends. You do consistent sharing. You have an interesting profile. You add five to 10 friends a day. Routine content. Routine content means you, you, you do it regularly or you do it uh, around the regular time and you have active interaction so so you must have active interaction with the people that comment or you go out and comment on other people's posts because it's like just getting to know them first before you add them to your friend list okay ah? this one this part okay ah? <clears throat> okay how to add friends so fraser brooks have this uh, technique he calls it the toilet technique Anybody heard of the toilet technique? Yeah, I heard. <laughs> who here knows the toilet technique? Hey, who here don't know, don't know? Who here don't know the toilet technique? Okay, no, don't know. Wani don't know. So Shafiq knows, ah? <laughs> teasing, ah, teasing, like, ah. <laughs> Okay, so who here, when you go toilet, will bring your phone? <laughs> I'm me, me. I'm, I'm, I'm guilty. I will always bring my phone to the toilet, whether it's at home or outside. I always bring my phone. Okay. So, since you're already going to the toilet, right? So, might as well make the best of it. So, there's no excuse. There is no time. You only need 10 minutes. Okay. I don't know how long you'll take on the toilet, but 10 minutes is enough to add friends. Okay. You want to increase leads. The condition is it's not fake. It's not a fake profile. Okay. I think by now we are all quite smart lah to know what profile looks fake, what profile looks real. So how to know? Of course, the picture is not some Angmo, some handsome Angmo or pretty lady and who happened to be studying from Harvard, Oxford, Cambridge, and then live in New York or all those fancy cities, and then no friends. So real people are those that maybe you have mutual friends, maybe some one or two mutual friends enough already. Don't have, don't go for those with hundreds of thousands of mutual friends, because then most likely uh, it's a bit diluted. Okay, you want to expand out to new network, <clears throat> and you can even ask your mutual friend, hey, do you know this person? Uh, then then you can find out whether uh, it's a real person or not. Maybe this person interacted with before. Okay, so. Make sure it's not a fake account. And if you as a lady, you are uncomfortable, you are uncomfortable uh, accepting strange men, don't. Just accept the ladies. And if the ladies also don't accept strange ladies. If they are strange, block and remove. Don't need to be scared. It's very easy to block. It's very easy to remove. And you don't have to feel bad about it. It's only Facebook. Okay, so it's not scary at all. So from today onwards, don't don't keep telling me, oh, I'm very scared to add friends. But remember, your objective is to add, to increase your name list. If you are scared to add friends, then how to increase your name list? So you must be clear on your objective. Okay, and the goal is to hit 5,000 friends. Okay, 
And of course, once we hit 5,000 friends, other than adding five to 10 friends, you need to delete five to 10 friends at the same time so that you can make friend, make new space for new friends. And again, don't need to worry about deleting friends because when you hit 5,000, you will have thousands of people who never even interact with you. Okay, trust me, I have. And usually the easiest way for me to know, right, is I check whose birthday is it. Then I will wish all those people I know or I interact with online or I, I want to interact. And then I will, those people who I don't hear from and then I see, oh, this profile, I think, no need, I don't, I don't want to interact. I will unfriend. I will unfriend them on, my birthday, on their birthday. That's their birthday gift from me. <laughs> because I don't know them. There's no interaction. And that's the best way for me to know. Because if not, they will never come up. I don't even know they're in my list. Because you also don't have time to go through 5,000 people. You know, no time. So every day, check your birthday message. Because you want to wish them happy birthday. That's the best time to interact. Okay? Oh, okay, 2.40 already. Okay, now, now we go to content. Okay, before I begin, right, I want to ask you guys, from a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your content? Okay, 10 being you got the most beautiful content that will always get hundreds of comments. That's, number, that's 10, huh? or the, uh, 1, 1 is uh, you, even when you, pay, you post a selfie of yourself, nobody likes. That's 1. So what is your number? What is your number? So Ibar is six, Kawaji is six, Nor is five, five, okay. Sadia is cover the mouth, don't know what number, one, two, three, four, five, don't know. Anna is five. So Aina is five, Swami is six. Yeah, Swami actually got good content, you know, can go up to six or seven. Wow, oh, Farid has very good content. Is number seven. <clears throat> you can even be put one, it's okay. It's, we're here not to judge. We're here to find out where you are now. Sadia, you're four. You sure not? Actually, you got good content. Nasrul is five. Nasrul, you're the best content among all of us, and you are five. Wow. We must work harder. <laughs> so, so I. This is a good exercise because once you know your content, where you are, then we are all working towards 10. We're all working towards having content that is level 10. That even uh, people all want to comment and share. Everybody wants to comment and share. Okay? Yana, you're definitely not three, but then mind, you can still move uh, move forward and move on uh, higher up in the, in the ranks. Okay, thanks for sharing that. I think that's... That's quite a good exercise. So all of us now, you can decide. You can decide how many, what is your number by the end of this month. Because this workshop is four weeks, right? <clears throat> so later you can decide the number you are going to increase your level to. <coughs> okay, so go straight to the content. Huh? Content is actually very simple. And in fact, it can be anything anything <clears throat> strong contents will be articles articles can be either you share an article or you write the article last time people write blogs but you can actually write something similar on your facebook and people actually read sometimes when people see a long post they're very capable they want to read they want to click read more right or not how many of you have done that before? How many of you have seen a post and then you see, oh, this one very long, I want to read more. Have you all done that before? Right, so. Yes. Exactly. So, so don't be afraid to write long posts sometimes. But don't always write long posts. Ah. Little people are so tired. So must have variety, ah. no monotonous. Second, image. <clears throat> so image also is very uh, effective to attract people because you must always think of the person scrolling. They are scrolling. What will make them stop? First is stop, no? That's the first step. They will not like or even comment yet. They might want to see, what is this? Okay, you must make them stop first. Then you want to make them like. And you want to make them comment. So these are the three steps. Because many people will stop, but will not like. 
many people may like but they may not comment many people may comment but they just comment one word or one emoji okay <clears throat> so image is very useful but 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 Fraser Brooks say this Facebook live Facebook live is the most powerful Fraser Brooks said that Facebook live is the most powerful okay so this is something that all of you all of you if you want to be a digital superstar you have to do Facebook live so if I'm asking what about videos yes so I would say videos is also is also very useful uh, you can if you are happy to do videos you can go ahead but I find that these three are strong and the easiest to do because sometimes videos uh, you have to do editing and all that and but these three things is very easy to do there's no excuse that you cannot do it okay videos are strong strong as okay so uh, this is the first example this one's from uh <laughs> so this is a sample of an image because sometimes you will say hey, i don't know what to post lah i don't know what to what to say what to write but isn't it easy you just google and then you just take this one i like i just post isn't it isn't it easier because you don't have to think you don't have to think about your own content it's all there and just because of this she has 30 comments and 56 likes so many so many people are commenting commenting so happy and that's what you want you want to have interaction you have you want to have all this interaction okay so can we all actually share an image or a photo from google or sometimes you even see something nice from instagram or pinterest or wherever you see and then you see eh hey, this one is nice just copy and paste in fact kaoja don't even write captions you just put <laughs> five hearts <laughs> <laughs> the best money to say anything <laughs> next thing got comment you see uh, they must reply you see she re busy replying all must reply one easy right easy uh, so no excuse don't know what to post because you don't have to be a digital master at uh, creating content you just need to post you just uh, maybe i share a little bit Every morning, I'll try to find a theme for the day. <laughs> so I'll look through Pinterest for theme of the day and then I just post. Lah. Because I'm not a good, con I don't have good ideas, but I, I have a theme lah inside my mind. Okay, today maybe I will talk about uh, gratitude. So I'll search for gratitude mm. post in Pinterest. So anything that match my feeling at that point, <laughs> then I will share. Yes. And Pinterest <laughs> is very good for ladies. Ladies love Pinterest. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so if your audience is ladies, go on Pinterest. If you don't know what's Pinterest, it's P-I-N-T-E-R-E-S-T. -E -E. You can go and Google. Later, don't ask me, what's Pinterest? Uh, let me go Google lah. Okay. <clears throat> wow, Farid love Pinterest too. <laughs> yeah, it's actually very useful because it's very easy to find nice photos. So go out there and go and just explore. Okay. Art design, yeah. A lot of nice photos photos very interesting <clears throat> so that's a very good example and also remember i think if you not i also noticed <clears throat> sometimes kaoja will post an image but then maybe not many people comment it's normal because we don't know who will like but then because you keep posting someday this will happen so you have to be consistent okay so the key thing is not to have the content that is like wow 10 out of 10 all the time. No, more important is to be consistent. Okay. Next is... Uh, okay. <clears throat> another, another post that I like, I like to ask them questions. Okay. And the truth is, right, actually sometimes I also don't know what, what question to ask, you know. You know, sometimes I never know what is the right post or or question that would attract people. So sometimes I will ask a question, I tell you nobody answer. <laughs> but you cannot give up because sometimes I was thinking, wow, this question sure a lot of people answer. Sekali only one person answer, comment. Wow, heart pain. Then I, when I choose this, I also don't know whether people will answer or not. So Alhamdulillah, I got 150 questions, eight comments. So sometimes certain things just goes viral. 
for this kind of question posting need to review the results uh so the the what do you mean by review the results like do you have to follow up like okay the other day i posted this uh post and uh, this question so do i need to say okay so these are the you know like oh so many of you uh say you know that you went you want to go here and here and there something like that no that was up to you you can do that if you want to there's no better need or no need <clears throat> but most important thing you must interact you must interact with these 150 people because you always every day asking who to talk to who to meet who to follow up here you go 150 people commenting on your post waiting for you to reply that's what you want right because sometimes you don't know who to talk to these are people who are waiting to talk to you okay <clears throat> sundoku yeah forgot i was sudoku <laughs> sudoku post can talk lah farid oh yeah, yeah yeah yes yes yeah that's why i never read that's why i don't know what sundoku I buy the book, never read. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it resonates with a lot of people. Uh. I think the, com the the post that resonates with a lot of people will get a lot of response. Yes, correct. So you think of a question that that you think, eh, I think, I don't think I'm the only one who don't read, who buy books and don't read. Uh, then you say something about it. So you think, like, you think about what you do or what you're thinking about. It's just normal things. It's just so simple, right? It's just normal things. And then you just post it. And and just wait, lah. post and then you wait. See the response. No response, never mind. Then continue. Next one. And then you got other, other posts here. And there's, there's no right post. There's no ex perfect post. So Sharon was talking about Christmas party and a birthday party. And this one got 92 comments, you know. And birthdays, ah, I tell you, your birthday is the best day to prospect your birthday because everybody will want to wish you happy birthday and don't just reply them on the comments go and message them thank them talk to them so now sharon you got 90 people waiting to talk to you 90 leads just waiting for you to talk to them find out how they are follow up you know your birthday is the best time so Sadia, happy belated birthday also. So you see how many uh, uh, birthday uh, comments on you? Or oh, you never post, right? Then you don't have comments. <laughs> never mind, you can post uh, belated birthday also can. Later, people will wish you happy belated birthday also can. <clears throat> okay, then another one is Iqbal also share about his story. So all this recent, uh, December, January, and Iqbal got 63 comments. And it's just simple. It's not even telling them, oh, thanks to Nuskin or, you know, that kind of thing. Don't even have to mention Nuskin. Ever since I started a business full time three years ago, I'm able to look after my dad and have my mom at home. Alhamdulillah. It's very simple. It's just saying what he's doing. It's just him. Simple, right? And the truth is sometimes, I'm sure, Iqbal, when you post this, you also don't know that you will get 63 comments, correct? Uh, you never know. But if you don't post, lagi you don't know. If you just keep in your head, nobody will know. Okay? So post, don't post. Post, jangan tak post. I don't know how to say that in English. Post and don't, don't post. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, then Kao Ji also share stories. So remember I talked about long, long stories, right? Or type long, long text, right? Yeah, people read. So how many are? Yeah, I forgot how many comments, but I think quite a lot lah also. <clears throat> so, put a photo and tell a story. Sometimes don't even need to photo also, you can also write the long story. So, and like the truth is, sometimes you write long story also, nobody like. Sometimes you write one line, a lot of people like. So you don't know until you just do it. <coughs> just post. Okay, let's see how much time. Okay, got eight minutes left. And Facebook Live. Facebook Live, I tell you, it's very important. And sometimes I don't know what to post. Okay? So I just this uh, I was supposed to taste this healthy cupcake, and then I was thinking, Allah, rather than I eat myself and just quietly enjoy, right? 
might say I just post lah. It's just last minute, and got a lot of people interested because people like food, right? Okay, especially people like to see me eat. <laughs> so why not? Might as well. Okay, so sometimes the best way to do Facebook Live is just go je, just do it. Don't even need to think. They want to do one, want to do one. Just do it. Just be yourself. Then Iqbal also did Facebook Live for skincare routine. Okay, sixty-seven comments and four hundred views. Okay, so same thing. Sometimes you may thinking, alama, if a guy do skincare, like who will watch, right? Then you think, think, think. Then nothing will happen. So just do it. And when he did it, he also don't expect to have so many views and so many comments, but it helps, right? See, got people ask, does it reduce eye bag? Ah, uh, see, you, then you already got a contact already for, for what they call that, for skincare, you know. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we are coming to the end soon, right? How do you do Facebook Live? Okay, well, kau ji close kabarik kabarik spot after your live, yeah. Right. Thanks for featuring me. <laughs> okay, how to do Facebook Live? Number one, don't worry about what people think. Don't think. Oh, I think I'm not. For example, lah, you want to talk about TNIT. Oh, I think I'm not fit enough. I think I'm not slimming slim enough. I think I need to lose five more kg. I think today I look fat. I think today I ate too much. Don't. Doesn't matter. It, if you doesn't does you you sound and look great already, that's the first thing you must know. You don't have to wait till you look perfect, because Facebook Live is not about you being perfect. It's not about you sounding and looking the best. It's just about you being you. Okay. So number one is don't care what other people think. You already sound and look great. Number two, have a catchy title. Okay. So if let's say you're gonna Share about uh, <clears throat> uh, your weight loss journey. Uh, you you can say something catchy. Why would people stop? I uh, for example, I like to I like to eat, but I still lost weight. Most people like to eat, but they cannot lose weight. That may be attractive. Or uh, how I lost my weight after pregnancy, for example. There's a lot of ladies couldn't lose weight after pregnancy. So whatever that, you know, something that people relate to, relatable and catchy, and they want to stop, okay. Don't, don't put things like oh lose weight with TNIT, or join me to lose weight for three months or so. I mean, okay, that one not not too bad. But try not to be too boring or too selling. Try not to be too selling, okay. So, and if you don't know what's a catchy title, just do it lah. Just type something. You'll figure it out later. You know what's a catchy title later, okay? Or look at other people's Facebook live, and see which one, which titles you will stop, and like and watch, okay? Number three, try to have high energy. So Fraser Brook said that before he starts any Facebook live, he will clap his hands. Uh, how many times? I don't know. Like, so very very fast because that's automatically you'll be high energy, okay? So up to you how you do it. For me, uh, before a uh, Facebook Live, I always try to compose my thoughts. I will think about what are the points I want to say, and then I will uh, do H log boost, <laughs> and then sometimes I do energize something like that can just brighten up my face or energy, and I, uh, if I can stand, I stand lah. Uh, so it's not I just share with passion, yeah, a lot of just emotion and passion. Okay, high energy, and last but not least. Is consistent. So consistent here is being at least, at least once a week, at least once a week. So so I'm I'm also trying to do more, uh, Facebook Live as much as possible. So you have to be consistent. Try not to be without Facebook Live for so long. With that said, doesn't mean that oh I haven't done Facebook Live for so long. I don't want to do lah since I'm not consistent. No, start now. Okay, start now. <clears throat> so to end off. The assignment for week number one, okay, post at least once a day. 
do one Facebook live this week, at least one, and like and comment on each other's Facebook lives. Okay, so because once you have more comments, more likes, or even share, if you feel that this is good for your face for your audience, share it. Because I don't you to force, I don't to force you to share. Because sometimes maybe uh, this person Facebook live not nice, uh, then don't share lah, no need. But you like and comment, that's fine. But if it's good, share. Then we can get uh, get it more exciting. And then next week, I will pick a, those uh, a few of you with who have done the homework well, and then share with us about your experience. How this just why one week? Maybe you can close something. Maybe you got more leads. Maybe you got more prospects. Maybe suddenly more people are commenting on your post. For example, uh, you want to see how this assignment can actually help all of you. Okay, so are you guys ready for your assignment? Are you guys gonna do your assignment this week? If you are, say, open your mind and say yes. 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 Do it. Yes. <laughs> so remember the five second rule. Just come one, two, three, four, five, then just do it. Don't need to think too long. Okay. All right. So I hope this week's training will be helpful. Let's all do this together, and all of us become digital superstars and create an impact in just the first week of assignment. Okay, all, all of you guys ready? Okay, I mean, okay, with that, have a great weekend, everyone, and let's transform this totally. All right, thank you, Tafik. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank, 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 thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 b